Now, it's important to be aware of numbers, meaning a normal PSA now is defined as less than three. The median for a PSA, so the most common value of a PSA when a man is in his 40s is 0 0.6. And it's the man's relationship to the median that can be used as a guide to determine frequency of PSA testing and whether the next step of an MRI scan needs to be undertaken. <clears throat> There is a bit of a push more recently for men to consider having a PSA test when they're in their 40s. And the argument behind this is when you're in your 40s, you're less likely to have BPH, which is the benign enlargement to the prostate. And that is, as I highlighted, one of the reasons why a PSA test can be increased. So if you have a PSA test when you're in your 40s, you're less likely to have the enlargement and the PSA that you have in your 40s is more likely to represent your lifetime, your true lifetime risk of having prostate cancer. And some of the information that we know is approximately 75% of men who in their lifetime develop significant prostate cancer will have a PSA above the median, i.e. above six when they're in their 